In this video, we're going to go over how to have the user input a variable. In the last video, the, input, the user input a string, but if we try to do math with it, say they typed in 5, and we typed in 5 divided by 5, it would come back with an error because it, it wasn't a variable. The computer didn't know how to interpret it as that. So this time we're going to have them input a variable. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is start our main method. And we need to have the same import here at the top as last time, so import java.util.star. And we'll tell them enter a integer. So let's see scanner input equals new scanner system dot in and we'll say int because we want it to be an integer int a equals input dot next int so we can type in we can display that integer. The integer entered is plus a, and that will display the integer. But we don't want to just display it, we want to actually do math with it. So uh, we can change this to the integer entered divided by 8. Uh, now let's divide it by 2. Enter divided by 2. And we can just type in a divided by 2 here. Say we enter the integer 8, that divided by 2 is 4. So that's working correctly. But this will only take in an integer. Let's say we try to enter 7.8. See what happens. Well, we get an error because 7.8 was an integer. Uh, if you watch the video on data types, you will see an integer has to be a whole number. It can't be a decimal. So, uh, let's say we want to pick 25 for our integer and we want to divide it by 2. We will actually get a whole number. We should get 12. So, then your enter divided by 2 is 12, which is pretty close. Uh, that's because of the data types we're using. So you want a more accurate thing. So you want a double. So double b equals input dot next double. And we'll tell the user to input a double. A. I'm sorry, we should tell them to input the double first. Enter a double. Then we'll say double b equals input dot next double. And we'll tell the user that the double divide, divided by 2 is, we'll say plus b over 2. Now let's make all these 7s. Uh, we know that 7 will give a fairly Actually, 7 will give a repeating decimal that goes on forever. Um, Alright, so here we go. Let's see, we enter 25 for our integer and 25 for our double. And then here it is. If we enter 25, the double divided by 7 is 3.57142857. Just going to repeat the 142857 pattern all the way to for infinity. And as far as we know, that's what it'll do. Alright, hope this helped you get a pretty good sense of how to input different data types uh, before you only knew how to do a string. But now you can actually do math with these data types. And I could have done A over B or B over A. Those actually would have given me slightly different answers because I wouldn't have the I wouldn't have a decimal in A over B, but B over A would have a decimal. All right, so I'll play around with this for yourself. Uh, next video, I think I'm going to be doing some methods and 
showing you how to use different methods, which sounds confusing right now because I haven't gone over them at all, but, um, uh, well, it is something that took me a while to learn, but hopefully you'll pick it up faster than I did. Thanks for watching.